it is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I mean, a lot of the principles are the same. Um, exactly. I mean, hypertrophy in general, the, the, the principles are the same, you know, the rep ranges, uh, the type of exercises you do and like the, the way you move your body, like for example, for example, an overhead press is so similar to a handstand, uh, pushups, exactly. um, except, uh, there's more balancing with the handstand pushup, of course. Uh, but so many of the exercises are, are the same. Like they're, they're kind of the same except for yeah, maybe they're, machine they're work, I would say. Um, like uh, cable using cables are kind of different and kind of new. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think like machines will give you like the 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 most like new experience yeah. because many times you're dealing with so like if you're dealing with your body weight, it's basically you know like you are lifting like mass, mm -hmm. right? And with weights as well, but um, on machines. Many times the machines are like designed different, like in a way that like these like curves of like resistance and everything, yeah. they're like diff like they're artificially made to be like mm -hmm. to to have a different feeling than if you would like lift a barbell. Yeah. So they are, yeah. for example, like they're making the exercise that would be very difficult here. They're making this part easy just like through like working on the mechanism inside the machine also you don't have things like cables uh with like without it right uh, cables are also different experience uh, but all the other like machines that are very stable so if you're doing that as well then i guess that could be like different for you as well like it could be a new experience for you yeah the the resistance uh comes from different places on machines like typically in weight training like free weight and calisthenics you fight against gravity, where yeah. on the machines, the resistance can come from left, right. It can come from up. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Which absolutely. is really exciting. And it, it it opens up more possibilities and you can be even more creative with your with your exercises. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I never learned like uh, on that point, for example, I, I would never expand my knowledge as much uh, on, for example, like exercise mechanics, I could call it. If I wouldn't, because it's it's very simple when you analyze exercise, um, it's very simple when you do it with free weight or body weight, mm -hmm. uh, because you just like know that the direction of uh, resistance will always be down, yeah. unless you're moving very dynamically and you have to accelerate the weight in different planes. So then you're dealing also with inertia. So I can lift my like. Uh, like the dumbbell here, if I do it very fast, then gravity is not working on it, but I'm, I'm dealing with like uh, changing the, like accelerating this object. So like in the elevator, right? Or like uh, that that's the experiment sort of. Uh, so so I in order to change like the, the place, I need to do it. But most exercises happen very slowly in the gym. Uh, so when you're lifting weight, it's just like you, you look at the exercise and you can estimate, okay, I'm dealing with this resistance. It's working on these muscles. When it comes to machines, because they're like different in terms of like the the mechanics, the directions are different. The uh, the guiding is different. So they're sometimes guiding your movement path. Mm -hmm. It's it was very interesting for me, especially from the rehab standpoint, where you have a lot of limitations within the movement, and you need to find something that will, for example unload one part but really load the other part and you're thinking which machine would be good for that right uh, these are like the problems that you can sort of like solve in exercise mechanics that are much more difficult when you're dealing with uh, machine exercise and it's really like it it showed me how little i know you know like about mm. the subject uh, so machines are great in that sense but it's also like i i would say they're also really good for for working out if you're using them properly i think like there is a dogma of not using machines uh, 